Well, this is one you voted for, so get excited, because this is going to be one good thrift trip. Hey Siri, take me to Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store. Thrift Store. Let's go! Well, hey babes, what is up? It's Haley, and welcome back to my channel. Ask and you shall receive. I am so excited for today's video idea, you guys. Wherever you are in the world, most likely you are currently still in the end of winter season. And for the last couple of months, all you've been thrifting is sweaters, knits, jackets, everything for the super cold weather. But today, we're completely changing it up. We are going to be thrifting for summer outfits in the winter. In my last video, I told you guys that one of the most underrated things is to thrift for opposite seasons seasons at the stores because nobody and I mean nobody right now is touching anything summer related so the skirts the dresses they are not picked over and there's usually a ton of amazing stuff right now and I'm gonna show you everything that I want to wear and dress in the upcoming warm seasons I also really wanted to thank thread up for sponsoring today's video I've got so many things on my wish list and whatever we can find in the thrift store today I'm definitely gonna go ahead and search it up on thread up because thread up is the world's largest online thrift store you guys it's got all of your favorite brands for up to 90% off the estimated retail prices you can literally search up whatever style and trend I want and add it to cards straight from the comfort of my own home. So with all that, ready for sweater weather to be out, just bring on all those spring and summer trends. Let's go. And today's surf trip is gonna be extra special, you guys, because my mom is actually here from Toronto and it's a full circle moment because my mom was the first person to ever take me to a thrift store ever when I was five years old. And here she is, the legend, my mommy, the thrift queen. Hi everybody, I'm so happy you love the thrifting with the <laughs> Ailey. My mom, iconic. <laughs> Okay, let's start this off easy. I'm gonna start off with the tops because it's been so long since I've been able to find myself some good short sleeve top. Here's my Pinterest inspo for some tops I'm looking for. And I especially wanna try out the fun colors. Let's get hunting. Okay, of course I had to stop by the baby pink section because I love this color. And I came across this top right here that just reminds me so much of this tube top version that I found on Pinterest. I absolutely love the floral details and it's so good for the warm seasons. It is an extra large, unfortunately, so I would leave it behind. But anything with these kind of 3D flowers, I'm loving right now. Some other things I'm the lookout for specifically with the short sleeves is I want to save the tops that have thicker straps that kind of cover most of your shoulder. Ooh, vest and sweater vest. I still love so much whether you layer them or you don't. And then little tie up tops just like this. They're basically a cardigan, just a short sleeve version, which is really great for the warmer months. All right, this is a perfect top in terms of my standards of modesty. Like you guys see, this is a thicker strap and oh, frilly details. I love so much, especially this little eyelet lace. Literally so easy to style anyway, especially because it's such a basic white top. Ugh, I always get so lucky in the white section you guys this tie up top is so gorgeous i love the tie detail it is a larger size so i have to see how it fits i would love to pair something a little bit fancier like this with some simple jean cutoff shorts we've got this top right here which is a free people top and it's got this little tie detail in the front could also be a really good layering piece okay something else i am loving right now is everything with textures and stripes i found this top well not really top it's actually a halter dress which i think would be such a cute beach cover-up i have to say i do feel like it's gonna be a little bit too short for me so i'm gonna leave it behind but it's still really perfect for any of you guys heading for a spring vacation. I call this a perfect summer blue button down. I think these are so amazing to just throw on, even like a bikini if you guys are out exploring. It's only $5.99 too. I think it's gonna be a good summer layer piece. And then same goes for a linen white shirt. This is gonna be your most perfect summer staple. It's a size extra small, but it does look like it will be a little oversized. I have a white button down, but not in a linen, so this is perfect. All right, right over here, this was a section that I was so excited for. On my Pinterest board, I noticed that I'm pinning so many vests, little sweater vests, whether they have the buttons or they're just like the full regular sweater vests. Denim ones, ones with the zipper, like I love vests. I feel like it's the perfect way to layer in the summer in a way that you can still keep cool. So let's see if we can get lucky over here. Okay, this piece right here, it's so perfect. You see these stripings right here? This in the best way kind of looks like something you could have taken from your grandpa. <laughs> the only thing is it does look like it may be a little bit too big, but I love, love, love the way this can look with a pair of boots like brown boots for sure and then this vest right here is such a beautiful color too the only thing is it is a super warm material and it makes sense because it is wool so i would steer away from something super heat inducing like this 
Okay, we're officially starting our hunt when it comes to the bottom, specifically in the shorts, the denim shorts. Okay, a couple characteristics I look out for in a perfect pair of jeans. I obviously want something long enough so that when I put my hands down, it reaches below my fingertips. So high rise and long enough are my main aspects. What I do love about shorts, it's usually really easy to just kind of skim through and already see which ones are long enough while sifting in your hunt. Okay, I took a look through, no luck with the regular blue denim shorts today. Most of them are just way too short, but I did find my perfect pair in the last video. Here they are, and I'm probably gonna go ahead and use those when styling these outfits. But let's head into the color shorts and see if we can get lucky here. Merp, you guys, it is just not a shorts day today. But I'll be honest, I do prefer skirts over shorts anyways. And just like that, I brought you guys over to the skirts. I found my perfect black denim skirt and I'm still trying to find my perfect blue one. Again, one that fits me like a dream and is not too short. But something that I have been seeing a lot on Pinterest is also these tiered skirts. They're the perfect midi length. And I really wanna try to pair an outfit like this because I mean, just look how cute these ones are. You guys know my love for brown. So I really, really like this one because of this texture in the bottom, but it is a size 12, so maybe too big. But to wear with like a bigger sweater over top, that can be so cute if it fits. Something that I was really hoping to find today was gonna be like a white flowy linen skirt. And they really just don't have a lot of options here today. I don't really love like the pleated skirt style so much. I remember when I was browsing on ThreadUp, there were so many white skirt options. And the best thing also on ThreadUp, they actually indicate the measurement. So you can see how long the skirt is without even trying it on. I'll know if it's modest enough. Okay, gotta show you this. This is not a summer fit, but it's literally a dupe for something that I've been looking for for so long. Look at this Pinterest photo. I've been literally wanting a sweater like this for so long. You know what? Even with some shorts, this could still look cute. Oh no, Haley. Oh no. Okay, and then for the last bottom section, if you are somebody who actually really loves wearing long pants, even in the summertime, what I would recommend is to keep your eye out for a linen style pants. I have a pair of black ones that I always wear and I love so much, but I'm still on the hunt for a nice white pair, something easy and breezy. These look a little bit too big. 100% linen tag it gets me so excited and these are actually a perfect neutral color for the summer and i love that it has the wider leg at the bottom trying these too we're getting full y'all so your girls got enough jeans that's for sure but here in the denim section something that i did really want to get is a pair of overalls either in a denim or even in like a brown neutral color because guys look at how many pinterest photos i have on my summer fits board which is just overalls layered with like a top or a t-shirt underneath such a cute simple outfit but i sifted through all of these and it doesn't look like there's a pair of overalls here so i'm really manifesting it and hopefully i find a pair on thread up because i really want to recreate these photos and then finally we made it to the dresses the summer dresses you guys of course it's on my list you already know a couple characteristics i love in dresses are specifically white dresses especially if they have like eyelet lace or anything dainty and girly so all the white section dresses i'm gonna be sticking to look at this perfect little knee length dress it's got the tie up detail here in the front and i love the texture of the fabric with some boots definitely okay i was just browsing and came across this stunning dress i love everything with the dainty florals it's got the puff sleeves which you guys know i don't know how i feel about it the brand is show me your moo moo which, which is actually such an expensive brand so i do definitely want to try it and maybe the puff sleeves will convert me for the spring i really want to wear a lot of dresses just like this on its own it's got a thicker strap but even with a white t-shirt underneath i love this the floral print on this is just so precious okay my lovelies i've got a ton to try right now and as much as i usually show you guys little sneak peeks of what i'm getting i think i'm gonna save the surprise for later so stay tuned for the haul you'll see everything that i got and all the new spring summer outfits When it comes to bags and purses, I'm really, really loving colorful bags. I love a pop of color in an outfit. Okay, guys, look at all these beautiful colorful bags. I don't even know where to start. My eye is being pulled right here. So this little green one, you know how much I love buckle details and the green and brown I think looks so good. Oh, wait a minute. Is this like an entire outfit right here? And do you guys remember in my Valentine's Day video, I found this perfect pink little coach bag? Well, I just found its brother. Tiny little blue coach purse. Most stunning color. Honestly, it's just too small for me to really realistically fit anything in here so i'm gonna leave it behind but how adorable but as you guys know time and time again Haley has become such a boot girl especially when it comes to shorts and skirts with boots cowboy boots just like this i'm especially loving for the summertime i already have a similar one from thread up that i'm gonna style with the outfits today but that one is stunning square toe i love also and any kind of tall boot as well all right something else that was on my list for spring and summer was sneakers but specifically colorful sneakers i'm really really loving adidas right now like the gazelles the sambas a very very slim shoe i think looks so good with skirts and dresses i am taking a look but no luck here i've been able to score so many good sneakers on thread up so tonight i'm definitely going to add colored sneakers to my search as i browse on there but hold the phone look at what i was able to 
fine for Naomi. Little pink Uggs with the bows on the back. This is going to fit her right now. Like how? How is it that I'm finding dream shoes for my kids? They've got the best wardrobes, unreal. And just $4 too. Naomi, you're welcome. Are you guys ready for this? I mean, really, say goodbye to your winter blues because all the spring summer inspo you've been looking for, we are gonna have it today. Even though we found so many great pieces on this thrift trip, I have to say a ton of the trends that I was looking for, I wasn't able to find. So that same exact night, I went ahead to ThreadUp. Using their little search bar, I literally just typed up trends that I was looking for and I'm so happy I was able to find so many good ones that you are going to be obsessed with. I mean, for real, some of these have been on my list forever. And let me tell you, if there's any pieces in this entire video that you love, ThreadUp now has an amazing feature that you can go ahead and chop somebody's favorites. You know the hardest part of thrifting is doing the hunt? Well, I basically did just that. If you guys click the link down below in my description, you will see an entire curated closet of all of my thread of favorites, including dupes of everything I'm gonna show you today, as well as some of the stuff that I've been eyeing and I love on the site right now that you can go ahead and shop for yourself. Use my code Haley to get an extra 35% off plus free shipping on your first thread up order. I just can't wait any longer, so let's go ahead and style up all these outfits. Okay, to start off these outfits, I needed to put together an outfit that every single one of you can recreate. Get yourself a good pair of denim jeans and a white top. This one that we thrifted, I fell in love with the ruffle detail and I love that it's like a more modest version of a white top you can wear in the summer because it covers up my shoulders. What really makes it though is the accessories that I thrifted on ThreadUp. These boots right here, you guys see all the time, they are my fry boots which go for over $500 and I got them for under 80 on the ThreadUp website. Let me get this out of the way right now because these are the two boots that I'm going to be wearing a lot in these outfits. Like I said, one of my favorite trends for the summer is to wear tall leather boots with shorts, skirts, and dresses. It's a really great way to cover up some legs. And then these ones have become my new favorites. I wanted a black pair. These are a little bit of a shorter, more moto style boots. And then of course, the accessories. This bag over here is from the brand The Sack. If you love knitted bags like this with different patterns and just like crochet style, The Sack on the thread up has so many different options. And I love that the brown colorways of the bag just go perfectly with the boots. So if you're wondering what my go-to summer outfit would be, this is exactly it. I just love this so much. Okay, I have to say, I think this whole like Western vibe is kind of like my aesthetic, is it not? But I had to show you guys how good boots look with dresses, specifically dresses that kind of have this little like baby doll effect. Something on my list for the summertime that I just couldn't find at the thrift store was gingham print. I don't know if it's gingham or gingham. I love plaid in the fall and I love this little check print for the summer. By the way, you guys, if you see this redness, I went to the beach with my parents yesterday, but I got such a bad sunburn. So here's your reminder, wear sunscreen screen guys. But okay, back to this outfit. The way that I was actually able to find this trend on ThreadUp is using their amazing little search filter. I basically clicked off on summer dresses and then I just scrolled down to their patterns. Right there, they have an option for checkered or gingham print. So I checked that off and that's how I was able to find this piece. This dress is from the brand ASOS. It was estimated to cost $64 and I got it for just $17.99. It's long enough that I feel comfortable. It's also got super thick sleeves at the shoulders. And even though it has an open back and a deep V in the front, I just paired it with a tank top underneath so that it doesn't show too much of my cleavage because I prefer not to. Oh, and okay, this bag right here, it's gonna be my new favorite because you guys know how much I love brown accessories. It's a suede purse that I got on ThreadUp from the brand Free People. It's got a ton of space inside to carry things that I need. And again, the whole braiding, the fringe, and even the suede fabric is very Western, which I'm noticing I'm just really liking right now. Like maybe I should just live in Texas. Okay, you guys, this dress is so unreal. I am obsessed with this. Okay, I was channeling a Western moment. Now I'm channeling a 90s moment. This little dress that we thrifted is absolutely my 90s dream. The fact that it is long enough that I'm comfortable, it's got the straps with the square neckline. The square neckline is key if you are looking for a 90s style dress. And the little pistachio green colorway with the tiny little flowers is absolutely such an amazing find for the spring. I wanted to keep this look very, very minimal. So literally it's just the dress and some black accessories. I have this little shoulder bag that's just such a perfect 90s purse. And as much as flats are in style, I personally always prefer flats if they got some straps on them just like this. So I paired it with these right here that have the little straps at the ankle, which also feels very 90s to me because strappy heels and stuff were so huge back then. But if you're doing like a cute little brunch moment on vacation, I love something like this for it. Come to think of it, I can even layer a white t-shirt underneath and that can be really cute too. And I personally really love it. Okay, this girl has literally found her identical Pinterest dream outfit. All right, you guys, you've seen photos 
like this again and again on my channel. I've always wanted to recreate this like corduroy beige overall outfit. So simple, just a white t-shirt underneath, some converse, and literally it is such an easy summer outfit to pull together. But finding a piece like this is just so rare. And I'm so excited that on ThreadUp, I was able to find it for myself. I literally just went into the search bar and I typed in overalls. And then by doing that, I was able to come across these incredible Levi's corduroy overalls. Thank you very much. Estimated to cost $102. I got them for just $34.99, which is unreal because these are so freaking epic. And one of those pieces that I'm like gonna keep these forever. And the best thing about a piece like this is that you can style it so many different ways based on what you layer underneath. So my number one tip for any of you guys shopping on ThreadUp, make sure when you're browsing, you have this clicked off. This little option that says shop in somebody's cart. That means whenever you guys are browsing, you're still gonna be able to see what is in somebody's cart currently. So I saw that these overalls were in somebody's cart for another 15 minutes. I set a timer on my phone and made sure to come back to the website right when it was about to be released. And as soon as it was, I clicked add to cart and now this baby's all mine. That is the number one tip that I can offer you. Set your timers for when a cart is about to expire, especially if there's a piece that you really want yourself. All right, for the next outfit, I definitely feel like this is something that is showing a little bit too much skin, but I love the base. So that is why I picked up a button up. Something I've been seeing on Pinterest a lot is a combination of a skirt with boots and then a button down shirt on top. Button down, button up. I don't know the difference, guys. Let me know if I'm saying it wrong. But just the added style element that a shirt like this adds to an outfit instantly. I mean, basic stylish and this one has a very interesting shape because it is a more stiff fabric it gives off a bigger more oversized look which i actually really like okay but starting off as you guys saw at the thrift store i was really trying to find myself a white skirt that is long enough and i found a bunch of pleated skirts but i don't really love that preppy girl look so instead i browsed on thread up went to the skirt section and clicked off on white i came across this ann taylor skirt estimated to cost 70 dollars, and i got it for just 12.99 it literally is the perfect flowy skirt that you can wear with anything and of course, I had to pair it with my fry boots. I just love how boots like this can take such a girly outfit and give it a lot of edge. These perfect condition real leather boots were estimated to cost $426 and I got them for $116. They are so freaking comfortable, probably the most unique pair of boots that I own. And I just love how they make an outfit like this feel so much more casual and stylish. Sometimes it's really hard for me to feel comfortable wearing mini skirts, but when you have the balance of adding the boot and a layered top, I don't feel like I'm showing too much skin, but just the right amount that I still feel comfortable. I mean, she's not just a mom, she's a cool mom. I am like too excited for this because it's so simple that it's so good. Okay, so one of the most common bases of an outfit is literally a pair of jeans with a tank top. But I don't know if you guys have noticed, I haven't been wearing jeans a lot lately because I always just used to go for like super high rise, tight at the waist. And basically I found these Levi's jeans on ThreadUp and they have officially converted me. I am now so much more into a mid-rise baggier jean fit. I could not be more in love with these. But wait, wait, the outfit is not complete. Jeans and a tank top can look pretty boring. So how are we gonna spice it up? By adding some color. I am always shopping for accessories on ThreadUp. They've got like the best baseball caps, just like this one. And shoes, you guys. I was able to find not one, but two pairs of Adidas Gazelles. These are absolutely my favorite favorite style of sneaker because I personally really love sneakers that are much more slim rather than wide. I just typed in Adidas sneaker. I saw that these ones were actually sitting in people's carts. So obviously, you know, I had to set my timers for both of these. Estimated to cost just over $100. I got these brand new with tags. Perfect condition for $46 each. That is more than half the price of what you can buy these in store right now. And let me just show you how much of a difference it makes to just add some color. Okay, well, sneakers are on and I'm just so obsessed with this maroon red color because this is probably what I'm wearing if I'm like heading to Trader Joe's, getting some groceries for the family. Something comfortable, but still really cute. Oh, and the jeans. We cannot forget about these jeans. I got these ones for $23.99 on ThreadUp. If you were curious to know the style, they are the baggy dad jean. And I can't forget to mention, I didn't just buy epic shoes for myself, but I was able to find a pair for Naomi too. On our thrift trip, remember these little Uggs that we found? I mean, how freaking precious. They're the perfect pink too. I just got to give them a good wash. And we still have a couple chilly weeks here that 
that I can still take advantage of this. I know you guys, it's crazy. Florida, you get sunburned one day and you can wear warm Uggs the next. <laughs> but you guys, I think we could safely say that we have so many good starting point pieces to take me into the spring and the summer. If you're loving any of these pieces, any of these outfits, go ahead and check the link down below so you guys can see my thread up closet. You'll find dupes to all of these as well as things I'm loving on the site right now. So, so go ahead and check that out to see what I would thrift for you. Once you have some pieces that you love, use my code Haley to get an extra 35% off, plus free shipping on your first thread up order. If you're the ones that are watching up to this point, then you are the real MVPs. We love the ones who stick around all the way till the end. I especially love you all. If you're watching up to this point, then comment down below right now. Bring on the heat. I want to know who else is excited for summer. Are you like wallowing in your winter blues? I can definitely see here in Florida, the summer weather is nearby. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the girls. I literally think I'm just going to go in the outfit that I'm already wearing. I mean, what says cool mom more than this, right? But I love you all so much. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on Instagram if you don't already to see me style these outfits on the daily. And with all that, I can't wait to see you in my next one.